absolutely disgusting and talking about things that absolutely piss me off we have to and need to address and talk about this issue regarding tom Sachs. unfortunately the great and the illustrious tom Sachs got himself in a bit of a oopsie doopsie um you know i guess in this era or the world we live in at the moment on this type of society we're in at the moment you have to be a quasi semi perfect person if you have any flaws to you if you have any sort of deviations from the norm you're instantly going to get called out even more so in the workplace where people have this idea that the workplace is meant to be an extension of your home it's meant to be in itself some sort of quasi utopia where everything is fair and everything is nice and you get on and there's bean bags and people giving you chocolates and shit and you have drinks on friday and pizzas on thursday and blah 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 well, the reality of life isn't that. And we know the fact that in most industries, especially when it comes to the arts, especially when it comes to design, those cutthroat industries or those industries essentially where they lionize and put on a pulpit the designers and the flipping main people involved with these brands and whatnot. It's no surprise that some of these people, whether they're male or female, become a bit megalomaniacs, become a bit psychopathic. And it's not surprising that their workplace, you know, workplace behaviors aren't essentially up to scratch with what's going on nowadays in society it's not that surprising so when all the stories started coming out about tom Sachs' studio and the abuse alleged and the fact that he was a bit of a tyrant and he would turn up to meetings in these boxes and stuff and demand a certain level of dedication from people it wasn't too surprising too surprising to me but the real real bummer for me as a fan of tom Sachs and a fan of the shoes and a fan of the studio and just a fan of his overall was that i was waiting with bated breath i was waiting with bated bloody breath for the mars yard 3.0 i had the mars yard 1.0 and i wore them into the ground they had flipping holes in them look like they stunk i was wearing them in the gym i wore them to raves i had a flipping amazing times with the original mars yards and i would say like I've always said immensely on this pod before, the Mars Yards out of every, any other sneaker I've ever had in my entire life, out of any other sneaker I've had in my entire life, these shoes were the one shoes that I got the most compliments from, from regular normies on the street. Regular normies on the street would stop me all the time and say, oh my God, where did you get those? Where did you get those? And to me as a sneakerhead, that's the best validation. Not from other sneakerheads who are whacking off on flipping pictures of Nike Air Max Ones, who have tattoos of swooshes on their arms and shit who flipping always want the new one new one who flipping love everything that fucking like you do who love every single jordan who love every single new balance no those guys are boring right they have no taste they just follow the hype everything that's new and shiny they buy just because it's new and shiny but when a regular normie person in the supermarket down the street in the barbershop says hey i like your shoes that is legitimately the best validation ever and this was the only validation that i got when i I wore these flipping Mars yards and it was only it was only it was only flipping um rumored recently that this particular model here which may have been the 2.5 it may have been the 3.0 we don't really know yet but this was the model that was being um wear tested by a few people out there it was essentially like the mars yard 2.0 with a rubberized toe and some reinforcements on the eyelets and some different material on the toe box and the side paneling to help it to be water resistant there was rumors this model was going to come out again and then as soon as the rumors came out nike said nope we're not gonna bring them out because it's workplace harassment and then it felt like the apologies tour um run was gonna start because tom Sachs need to kind of save and kind of you know um save whatever relationship he had with nike but i i think considering what's going on now in society they're just gonna wipe their hands clean with him and because of that the reason why i think that is because of this recent update um regarding tom Sachs, and he posted actually on the tom Sachs official account via their story I might add which is another really sneaky thing that people do all the time when you're not really sorry instead of putting the apology in the notes app on your feed you put it in your stories so that it's not there later on right <laughs> and you don't you don't get any, no one can say that oh you deleted it after the fact it's just completely gone so he decided to up upload a handwritten apology which is hilarious in my opinion because the handwritten apology is written in the same font that he writes um in general like that same design font that he has right the tom Sachs design studio font 
and it's written in a way that makes you believe he's not really sorry. And I'm with him. I stand with Tom Saxon not being sorry. I stand with Tom Saxon the um, having permission to throw a couple of pans and pots at your flipping design students or design assistants if they're not kerning properly, if they haven't lined up the rulers accurately enough. I am really for it. If the chamfer on the fucking, sorry, if the chamfer on the fucking, you know, prototype of what you've been working on isn't done to the correct angle, I stand with him. I stand with his ability to do so because these days in these design studios some of these design assistants don't be design assistants thing they'd be wasting too much time on instagram feed on discovery doing fucking research instead of actually drafting up prototypes going to buy more buy going to buy more mdf right and actually get into fucking work that's what they should be doing so i don't see any point in it but if you're looking at it from a point of view of like oh you need to apologize and own up to this mistake let's make one thing for certain when you go and you upload a flipping handwritten apology in the font that you usually do all your designs in and you post on instagram stories you are definitely not sorry let's just say that anyway let's read you up the, the apology courtesy of tom Sachs. it says update these past few months have been at a time of overdue reflection a time of overdue reflection it's been painful but vital you know what this kind of reminds you of this motherfucker writes at ian connor do you know Ian Connor, right? The stylist guy. He's got this way of writing. I don't know if he's like dyslexic. I don't know if he's just redacted, but he writes so bizarre. Like the grammar's all over the place. It's all uppercases and shit. It's just strange. I don't know if it's like a, it's like him talking in slang or if it's him just not giving a fuck about the English language is like kind of cool, but he kind of sounds like Ian Connor. Like you don't really know where shit's going, but you're going to try and kind of pass it together, right? Let's just continue anyway. Man writes like how flipping Floyd made with the spells, right? Anyway, let's continue. It says, I deeply regret that anyone um, ever felt less than supported, safe and fulfilled within my studio, but it's clear that some people did. <laughs> so some of you motherfuckers felt sad and felt unsupported because you're sad and unsupported, but some of you didn't. So leave me alone. I get it. As our business grew, at a rapid pace and cultural norms progressed we did not take the necessary time or professionalize our operations i wish i had prioritized this decade ago i am laser focused on it now so essentially he's saying it's your fault it's society's fault for changing not for me being a tyrant i am not fucking kim jong-un in this design studio it's your fault for you guys being too redacted and too lily livered and too p-worded not to be able to kind of withstand my pressures that i put on these design people it's actually society's fault that's what he's basically saying he's not saying it's anything that he done wrong it's society's fault society needs to kind of fix up suck it up and be okay with him and his wife sending their flipping design students off to Irwan to buy a particular fucking green smoothie for their fucking dog that's what he's basically saying it continues but to be clear over my 30 year career this is essentially the the career version of like i have black friends right but to be clear over my 30 year career i have never harassed anyone or tried to make anyone feel uncomfortable i love that right that refusal to take any accountability you may say i made you feel uncomfortable but it's all in your head i did nothing wrong you may say I harassed you. No, I did not harass you. You harassed yourself by <laughs> by complaining. <laughs> Basically, you played yourself. That's what he's saying. I'm committed to building a studio culture that better aligns with the values that I explore and develop as an artist. My art and professional my art and my art and personal slash professional growth is my main focus. Signed 5th of the 10th, 2023, Tom Sachs NYC. You know what's absolutely funny about this whole entire thing? What did they expect him to do though? I'm just thinking about it now. Why did he even write this apology? Letter? I would have told people to fuck the fuck. I would have told everyone to fuck off. You want me to you want me to fire myself from my own studio? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to fire myself from my own studio? <laughs> I'm never gonna do that. I don't care what you think about my workplace um, practices, about my working conditions. I am never firing myself from my own studio. Never happening. Especially when you think about um you know the fact that those shoes i think in my opinion belong in the sneaker hall of fame right those original nike craft mars yards are belonging in the sneaker in the sneaker hall of fame if you're a smart if you're a smart sportswear brand um ceo you're going to be looking at tom Sachs with the with the corner of your eye you're going to be watching his movements and you're going to say to yourself you know what 
if Balenciaga can bounce back from essentially having kiddie porn in their flipping campaigns, right? If they can bounce back from that, then Tom Sass can bounce back from throwing a couple of fucking rulers at flipping staff, a couple of rubbers, a couple of sharpies. He can bounce back from that, right? He can bounce back from turning up to his fucking Zoom meeting in some boxer briefs. If Balenciaga could legitimately get away with advocating and pushing fucking CP, let's be real here let's be real and i'm also never firing myself from my own studio i don't care what you accuse me of it's never happening so it's actually quite funny that he got pressured into making a statement because who's he trying to convince no one really believes him right we all know he probably runs a bit of a a bit of a flipping labor camp over there in his studio right it, it, it's essentially legalized design slavery but because of the rep you're gonna get you just take it on the chin it's all like working for vogue and some shit as an intern right you don't work for vogue as an intern and go handing and getting coffees and logging in fucking horrendous michael Kors sample pieces and shit because you're a fan you do it because of the clout you do it because of what that's going to do to your cv you take the abuse because you know what it could do for you further down the line but in this day society there's just we live in this world where people are so molly coddled they feel like they need to be indulged in certain things and you have to kind of look after their feelings and la di da 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 it wouldn't surprise me if nowadays if it's basically I, I think it is actually it must be basically illegal to do internships with no money and i did many of them i did many internship design internships fashion internships where all you got paid was your travel fare sometimes you wouldn't even get your travel fare Sometimes you'd ask your, you know, the person that's looking after you, um, maybe the, the the head of the studio, maybe the design assistant, you'd ask them for your, you know, the, the money you need to buy your travel card with and they'd ask you for a receipt. No, sorry, they'd ask you to prove how much you paid for it or a receipt, obviously, to expense it. Sometimes they wouldn't believe you. Oh, no, this is not real. Or, or, they'd, or they'd try and wrangle around it and say, no, why don't you take this train and that train? Imagine proper designer studio, proper design brands that are not willing to give you, I don't know, 50 bucks for the fucking travel fare. And that was when I was interning and stuff. So I'm sure nowadays it's unconstitutional. You could probably go to prison if you don't give an intern some lunch or you don't give them a fucking travel card or some shit. These people have it too, too good. But honestly, for me personally, I am really, really distraught and really upset about this. I can't say this any clearer than I've already said this. Um, like I said, I think those original marks yards were legitimately some of the best shoes ever in the history of shoes and the fact that we're never going to get these shoes again just because a couple of people in the studio couldn't hack some gentle design studio ribbing couldn't handle not knowing you know if they're going to get a pan or rubber a pad thrown at them every single day couldn't handle the uncertainty of working for a person who may or may not be a tyrant like i think that's just really strange personally i think some people just need to suck it up and realize what industry they're working in but unfortunately it's over it's 100 percent over but lol at tom Sachs for writing that handwritten note and thinking it was going to do anything because it clearly didn't and everybody's kind of over it because it kind of is what it is